Alright, foot birthday is coming out this Friday and I know for a fact that you're going to be needing coins for foot birthday and you're going to want to know how to best prepare for it. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know, giving you some trading methods and telling you who to invest in for foot birthday. If you enjoy this video, let's try and smash over 400 likes on it. And if you drop a like on this video, you'll be getting a foot birthday player in a pack on Friday. So you better drop a like. Let's get into this video. To get the cheapest FIFA coins on the internet, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description and a discount code as well. You can get 100,000 FIFA coins for just £8. Eight quid. Eight, eight quid for 100,000 FIFA coins. Go and check them out. They're 100% reliable. I've used them so, so much. Make sure to use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout and let's get into the video. Hello, what is going on guys? Ellie 96 and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to best prepare for foot birthday this Friday. Now, this is a promo event which is going to be coming out from EA and it's basically a promo event where everyone changes positions. A bit similar to shapeshifters, so I'm hoping that they're going to be doing something different this year, but... If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget about the giveaway. All you guys need to do is like this video, comment down below, and subscribe if you need to be in with a chance of winning 4,600 FIFA points. But let's get into it. So, guys, I'm actually going to be starting off on Footbin to start this video because there's a couple of different things that we need to talk about with Foot Birthday. Now, Foot Birthday, there's going to be loads of different things happening. There's going to be lightning rounds this Friday. There's going to be new SBCs for Foot Birthday. We're going to have new player objectives. You're going to be hopefully getting rewards as well for playing FIFA like we did in FIFA 19. And also, some streamers may have Twitch drops as well. So, there's five different new content options for EA and there's a lot of preparation that we need to do so the only things that we can really sort of prepare for is obviously the SBCs and the player objectives now what I'm going to do as my first protocol is tell you guys to go and do some investing in some fodder now if you're not too sure what I mean by fodder what I want you guys to do is go over to footbin and go over to the players tab in the top left now footbin if you're not too sure what it is it's basically a site of all of the FIFA players and you can basically take a look at all the FIFA players in a lot more detail so go to the players tab in the top left and go to FIFA 20 players now when you come over to this screen right here what you're going to want to do is just go over to this little star icon right here and what I want you to do is set this to 85 and then the max rating to 85 as well now the reason why we're going to be going for 85 is because I think that that's a good rating to go for in terms of covering all of the different options for player objectives and SBCs as well 85 seems to be the new 84 rating this year then what you want to do is just filter by rating what this is going to do is then filter out all the different players from FIFA and just show you guys the 85 rated players now because I'm on PS I'm going to go over to this PS button right here and I'm literally just going to click it once and that will sort everybody by the highest first and then we're going to click it again and then once we click it again it will actually sort it all by the cheapest first now as you can see right here there are so many different 85 rated cards who are very very cheap on the market right now now this is going to be my first thing to tell you guys about you can go and invest in some of these 85 rated golds if you want however my first tip is actually going to be sniping these 85 rated golds because I've actually managed to get myself quite a few decent deals by doing that and I'm just going to jump over to the console just to show you guys what I mean so let's jump into it. So jumping back over to the console, you will be able to see that I did actually manage to snipe myself this Galassi. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So basically what you want to do is just snipe 85 rated cards because they are actually pretty decent to snipe right now. So as you can see, this guy right now is going for around 9.8k. So what we would want to do is just put this down a couple hundred coins and just start to do some sniping at around 9,000 coins. Now, honestly, you will be getting yourself some decent deals and these are very, very good players to go and snipe. Just go for the cheapest ones of the 85s. There's no real specific players who I would recommend for you guys to do so just go for the 85s do some sniping and just see what pops up. And there we go, we've managed to get one at 9,000 coins and we know for a fact that these will be selling on for around 9.8k. Now, once you've actually sniped these cards, you've got two options. You can wait for foot birthday to see if they need for any SBCs or you can just sell them on now. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to sell it on now just to show you guys that they will actually sell on and we will be making some decent profit, around 400 coins profit and it really didn't take us too long. In the meantime as well, I did actually start to drop some bids on some cards as well as you'll be able to see right here. I am actually 
potentially winning a couple of cards. I've been outbid on a few, but you should be able to win a couple of these on open bid as well, which is very, very nice. But let's jump back over to Fort Bim because there's a couple of other things that I still want to show you. Yeah. So jumping back over to Fort Bim, now we're going to be talking about investing. Now, if you're not too sure what investing is, it's basically picking up cards for cheap now and then selling them on when they're needed for an SPC or something else, which could potentially make the price go up. So these are cards who we're going to be picking up maybe today or tomorrow, uh, as cheap as we possibly can get them and then selling them on when they're needed for SBC. So if you're not someone who likes to really wait for coins, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I do want to talk about investing because it's been something that a lot of people have asked me about before. So what I'm actually going to be showing you guys right now is the cheapest 85 rated team of the week card. Now I know that this is a team of the week moments card. However, with EA moving over to team of the week's moments, these may be needed for different SBCs. It may be maybe one Team of the Week card or Team of the Week Moments card. And the cheapest that you're going to be getting right now is actually Iniesta and Miranda. Now, in terms of different informs, these are actually going to be the tiniest bit more expensive because they've been out of packs for a while. Now, Glick is actually the cheapest at around 26.5k. I reckon you could probably get him around 27k. Now, I'm not too sure how much these could go up by if they're needed for different SBCs. But even if it's a couple of thousand coins, that's better than nothing. As you can see right here, Glick is 26.5. Then we've got Henderson at 27.5. But to be honest, I reckon you could get away with the moments. But if you want it to be super safe, just stick with the informs. But I'm actually going to be doing some investing in the moments cards because they're the current cards at the minute. And we do actually have Iniesta and we do have Miranda. Now, when I'm recording this, it is actually before the team of the week for today. You guys are watching this on Wednesday. I'm recording this Wednesday afternoon at 25 to 1. So the player price is maybe different, but let's jump back over to the console and I'll show you guys my investing method. And this is easily the best method and it makes you lose the least amount of coins. So let's jump back into it. So guys, what you need to do, jump over to the market and we're going to be taking a look at Iniesta. Now, what I'm going to recommend for you guys to do is snipe these cards. Now, I know that people will be like, what, for real? You're just going to say snipe them? That's your tips? No. Snipe them, then invest in them. The reason why I'm saying snipe them to start off with is because you will 110% not be losing any coins then. Now, the problem is when you actually go to the market and say, for example, I go to Iniesta and I find one of his cards. Let's see if I can find one of his cards right now. Is there any up on the market? Yeah. So he's going for around 25,000 coins, 24,750. Say, for example, I just pick up one of these at this price and then SBCs come out and it needs an 85 rated team of the week moment and his price doesn't move, then we're stuck with this card so what i'm actually going to recommend for you guys to do is jump over to the market and snipe these team of the week moments 85 rated cards so you've got iniesta and you've got miranda as investments who i'm personally going to be going for now right now he's actually going for more than 24,000 coins however get him for as cheap as you possibly can do even if it takes you absolutely ages to snipe a card doesn't matter it really really doesn't matter you sit here and you snipe and you try and get it as cheap as possible because then you've always got your back covered and you can still make profit and it might be minimal profit but it's not nearly as bad as if you pick up loads of cards and you've got to sell them on and then take a loss on tax that's not what we want to be doing we want to be coming over here sniping them for as cheap as we possibly can get them keep them friday see if any sbcs come out if no sbcs come out on friday it's up to you then you either keep them a bit longer or you can sell on personally i would always recommend to keep them a bit longer damn it We've just missed out at one at 22.5k. So there's obviously going to be competition on these. Just make sure you're taking your time. You should be able to get yourself a deal. I'll be back in a sec. So there we go. We managed to get one at 20k. And we've actually managed to get a different one as well at 23,000 coins. So both of these now are cheaper than the minimum buy now. That's absolutely fine for me. So I can literally just sit on these now, chuck them over to the transfer list, and hopefully that they're going to be needed for a different SBC. Is that a card? Okay, it's one I've got, sick. Don't forget as well that you can actually do this with Miranda as well. I would recommend, however, to please, please, please get them cheaper than the minimum buy now because then you've got no chance of losing coins. So let's just take a look right here, see what he's going for. He's actually a bit more expensive than any has to by the looks of things. He's actually going for nearly 27,000 coins, which is quite high considering you can get an inform for pretty much the same price as well. But it's a similar situation. Come through, do some sniping at a couple hundred, maybe thousand coins less. You can be a bit more cheeky with special cards. I'd recommend a couple thousand coins less to be honest. So minimum price right now is what? Let's take a look. 26 thousand coins i reckon let's take a look 26k is there anything up yeah there is 26k seems to be his cheapest so we put this down a couple thousand let's go for 24,000 coins and i'm going to go through and i'm going to pick up a card if i can do chuck it over to my transfer list and then 
that's my investing sorted. I mean, we've got one there at 24,000 coins. I'll take that. I'll take that. So we're going to be chucking this one over to the transfer list as well. And we're going to be keeping it there. Like I said, these should go up if we get something which requires these cards. I, I Honestly, I have no reason for these cards to not go up. And as you can see right here, some of these cards have actually sold on from before as well. So we've got all these cards chilling on my transfer list. Now, to be honest, if I had more coins available, I would be investing in more cards. But let me know how many guys... Let me know how many cards that you guys go and pick up. But that is where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on it. Let me know if you're hyped for foot birthday as well. There's not going to be any videos tomorrow because I'm going to be doing trials for the Wigan Athletic Esports team. If you're not too sure what I'm talking about, go and check out yesterday's video. Go and follow the esports page down below and send in all your PSN details if you play pro clubs. We're looking for players, specifically if you're a Wigan fan as well. But lads, that is going to be where I'm wrapping up this video. This is 36 and I'm off. Goodbye.